Today is the day I bake a beautiful cake. Nothing will happen to this cake. Not like them. We're gonna go ahead and stir this wonderful mixture. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Delicious. And I'm gonna go check my mail. Uh, while that bakes, I guess I'm gonna take a nap. <sighs> oh, that was a wonderful nap. Oh no, I left the cake in the oven. Yep. Not again. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're back here in a Blockborg. So um, there's a little tiny update. I'm not gonna do like, th this whole video is not gonna be about it because there's really nothing in this. But basically there are two new garage door frames. There's a new set of cabinets and you can now cook things and run away from it. So um, that's basically it for that update. You really don't need to, I don't need to make a whole video about it. I really don't know why why this got added in. Maybe there might be an update soon. I don't know. I just have that feeling. It's a little, a little feeling. By the way, my oven's actually not on fire. I put a fireplace inside the oven. You can see the little fireplace thing. Yeah, there's this um, garage door, wide garage door frame that were added. They added this one where it's like a super wide frame inside the cabinet pantry thing. That's basically it for this update. Also, one more thing. My friend Morgan discovered that if you drink coffee, it'll leave a dirty coffee mug behind. So before it wouldn't give you a dirty mug of coffee now it does look at that oh yeah one more thing if you're like first loading to the game it like pops up differently and on that note we're going back to school if i can find it i'm so happy my water park is finally done now i can build this without feeling guilty all right so for today's block break episode i decided we're going back to school and we're going to try to build a library because that's easy to do you just add a bunch of bookshelves and a bunch of seating um it's not fully done like i said it's just uh put stuff put down this is our wonderful math class i actually really like this oh my god i really like it i just need to add posters later in the end and then over here is english just a recap of things seems like a classroom doesn't it i think i would hope so, so basically yeah i think our outside is mostly complete what is what is going on here oh I don't know if I like that. Um, our outside is mostly complete, but I still could add some more stuff. Okay, I think we'll put the library upstairs, which means I have to landscape. Landscape! To definitely work on the upstairs then, because right now, this is a under construction mess. There's nothing going on, but it's very bright. It's not dark. Um, I think I'll put the library actually over here. I think this is a good place for the library. That's a big library. But yeah, it'll make sense. If it's going to be for this whole video, it's got to be a big library with a lot of stuff to do. Ooh, I got to figure out where I'm going to put the teacher's lounge and stuff. <gasps> oh my god, wait. Ooh, that could be an idea. But the gym door is going to go through here. I don't remember what this was going to be. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, this might be the principal. <laughs> That's a small principal's office. What did I- What was I going to put there? <gasps> I don't know. This might be a tenants and principal, and then this would be a teacher's lounge or something. That would be the gym. Okay, we have our first floor sort of figured out. Library. Don't worry, guys. It's not done. I haven't done anything up here. It's blank, I know. All right, so for a library, we're going to need a lot of seating because we need our students to be able to sit down. I'm definitely going to add some tables here, too. So, like, if students want to come in here and work on their homework and stuff. Should I make this whole room the library? I'm going to do that. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be great. Perfect. Okay, let me change up our walls here. I don't know what material I'm gonna use for this room. You know, we can do that last. It's fine. We don't need to work on it right now. The teacher desk. There's no teacher really in a library. School librarian. Yeah. I'm gonna make it all brown. Don't be surprised about this. I like the cozy feeling of a library. So brown is definitely like a cozy color for me. And then we're also gonna have a computer. I'm gonna give them the best computer. Our school will have hopefully the best equipment. Yes, and then, but well, yeah, this is where they will sit. They will have to walk around to get to get inside the counter area. There you go. They can sit right there if they want. Of course, I think they also will need a phone. Uh, I don't know how well I'm gonna make this library. I thought it was gonna be simple, like you know, <laughs> seating, books, bookshelves, chairs. I actually don't know whether or not I can make this look decent or not, but we will try. I I I, I don't know. I'm just gonna put a bunch of books there. It's fine. Oh yeah, a bunch of papers too. <gasps> you know what I wish we had, like, in this game? Like, printers or fax machines. Oh, that'd be cool if you could, like, print out a decal and then hang it up everywhere. Just kidding, that would be littering. But <laughs> maybe you could remove it too. I don't know. But that would be interesting if we, like, could print out, like, flyers and stuff and hang them up. For sure, this room is gonna have carpet. Wow, see, already looking like a school. Okay, we need a bookshelves. <gasps> oh, wait, I actually, yep, I'm getting the feeling. I'm getting the feeling of this already. I don't know how far apart we're gonna space them. But give them a bit of social distance. Ooh. <gasps> wow, look how simple this is. Okay, I'm gonna add wall trims. I need me my I need me my wall trims. See, already 
looking like sort of like a library. Ooh, what? And then we need some comfortable seating lounging area. I'm gonna grab the only the best equipment, best furniture for our school library. You know, I think we'll do transition. Something like that. I want to add tables too. Let me grab some. Okay, I'm not gonna search up tables and tables. Oh, these ones. These are perfect. I use these in my um, Red Town um library so i want to use them too for this we need the comfortable chairs we're gonna <laughs> not the stool we love a library i love i love a library it's very cozy okay i think i should do double-sided bookshelves oh wait is that a little too cramped i'm not sure i'm gonna move these against the wall a cramp that's not really too cramped that's pretty normal that's like about the average we need computers here as well so i'm gonna add some desks oh <gasps> wait hold on i could add the computers over here wow look at that look at that look at that wow nice Ooh, I need a therapy light in this room. Hold on. This is my therapy light. I don't know why. I just feel like it looks like a therapy light. So I think I'll do one table that has nothing on it. And that way people, you know, students can bring their work on work on this table. And if they want to go on the computer, then it'll be on this table. I was picturing more computers in this, more desks. The librarian into this corner. <laughs> I'm going to corner them. Yeah, here we go. I think we'll have a lot more space to work with then. That's just smart, you know? Oh, these could be the books that the students have like turned in and stuff. Ooh, can I, I can stack them. I forgot. Oh my gosh. I'm Confucian. I'm Confucian. I'm con Whoa, how are you floating? I don't understand this. Hold on. I'm confused why this is happening. Why do you... Oh, is this, is this also facing the wrong way? I don't get it. I'm having some technical difficulties, my friends. There is our printer. Perfect. And then we can put like paper sticking out like this. <laughs> That's our printer. Just uh, color it. Actually a microwave. But you can't tell. It's fine. Perfect. Okay, nice. That's the librarian spot. All right, now we have a lot more room to actually... I think we can add more bookshelves if we wanted. Okay. Is that too many bookshelves? Is that too much? We're going to add more tables. We need some curvature. You know, this is librarian's desk because it's too squarish right now. I'm having math equations right now trying to figure... It's not that difficult, PETA. Hello? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll just... Yeah. And then I'm gonna add some lighting, of course. We gotta have some of that, you know. <laughs> gotta have that the very warm lighting. That warm lighting up in here. Look at that. Wow. And then to make it even better, we're gonna put carpet on carpet because it just looks better this way, I think. It's not gonna be centered because I'm using small grid. And usually with small grid, I don't really center things very well. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? It's very nice. Okay. And then maybe some more carpet, like a carpet up here. Because you gotta talk to the librarian. Very cool. What if I did another one like here? <laughs> Why do I sound like this? Ew. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna do one. Ooh, look at that. That is fancy. I've been recording for about 24 minutes for this library, so yeah. Pen cups here. Someone didn't bring their number two pencil. How could you? I think to make the tables look better, since they're so plain right now, we gotta use some runners. We gotta use some runners, and I'm not talking about running. This is definitely a fancy school with these things. So our school's colors are like red and white and stuff. <gasps> wow, that looks so good. I like the green and black. Okay, we'll do that. I don't know if I should do a different color for each table, or would that be tacky? There we go. Look at that. Ooh, it's kind of like the Harry Potter house. This Slytherin, that's Gryffindor. Um... You probably don't know what I'm talking about. This is gonna be Ravenclaw, but like purple, right? I don't know all the colors. I just know green and red and maybe purple. Okay, the walls definitely need a change. So we need to add some very aggressive wall trims. We're gonna make those brown too. Make sure they're wooden. All right, and then we definitely need posters as well. Like the, the finishing touches sort of is like adding a bunch of educational posters. I'm being lame, guys. I'm color coordinating all my tables like I did with my cafeteria. It wasn't so pretty, but I think for a library, it'll be different. Uh oh, my time's frozen. My time's frozen. Wait, I'm almost done with my library. You can't freeze on me. Please, game, no. <gasps> no. Okay, I'm leaving before it does it. I have another idea. When in doubt, a lot of empty space just add pillars. It gives the room some depth, you know? I think that's what it does. Like, you won't know what's behind that pillar until you go through there, right? Like, wow, depth. Is that what depth, depth is? <gasps> there you go. Now we're done. I'm finished. That's a library. Alrighty, guys, our library is finally complete. Let's go take a look at it. Woohoo! Then you go up these really boring stairs. Oh my god, it's really under construction. But if you go to the library now, why do those doors open so slow? Hello? 
<laughs> well, I, I let's not go in the library. Let's just open and close these doors. Okay, anyway, this is how the library is. So, um, yeah, we got our wonderful lounging area for the students who just want to chill. And then this is like tables that they can work on their homework and stuff. There are the computers that they can use to research up their projects and blah, blah, blah. And then, of course, you can't have library without the books. So we got our books here. This is a very special row because the rest look plain. Yeah, they actually work. It's kind of spaced out pretty well, I think. They're spaced out fairly well. You can squeeze through them without a problem. You can even like go through these if you want. But yeah, and then of course we gotta have the librarian's area. I didn't put anything on the shelf and it's not really centered with this chair, but don't worry. Yeah, the teacher can like, you know. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm a teacher. Be quiet, this is a library. Hi, can I get a, a chicken nugget and french fry? Sir, this is a library. Oh. Can I get a chicken nugget and a french fry? Sir, this is a library. But yeah, that is basically it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed it, you found it dumb, silly, interesting, or inspiring in some sort of way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys want to continue watching any of the Roblox videos on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Thank you all for taking the time every day to watch this. I'll talk to you on the next videos. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Have a wonderful day. Peter Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody.